hub had to be a place that every child in the school could access and a place that every child in the school would want to come to. We didn't want it to be known as a space that was just for children who might have special needs or who might be struggling with anxiety or behaviour. Um, very important that it was a valued space and it was seen by staff and students as a place for everyone. We were presented with some children who were not coping with the social demands of school um, and that can look pretty loud. So with that we had stressed out children, stressed out staff, and parents and with that you know we actually had a couple of kids leave the school um, two of them uh, had autism and it, it came to a point with the leadership team where we said well we need to be doing something different we need to be actually catering for everybody so I guess that's that was really the 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 why we needed to change the things that we were doing we ended up with the hub really through years of experience and realising that uh, we needed to meet a need for the children in our school community. There were just instances where we were looking for something a little bit different in allowing these children, I suppose, to uh, de-escalate from behaviours that perhaps were um, not great in the classroom, but also just times where they where they needed that break from what was going on and, and the the space to um, calm down, uh, reset, and then be ready to come back in the classroom. What is your favourite room in the hub? The room four. Come on, check it out. I like this room because it has the two big bears and uh, one elephant and a big bear and it, the, I like it because you can uh, hug them and squeeze them and you can play with them. I have to set the timer to 10 minutes and then when it's up you have to uh, pack all the stuff away and uh, head back to your classroom. You can open tins and there's the things inside of it. Because it's all quiet and there's no distractions. Well, sometimes I do extension maths, but I always do reading and writing. So when students come in and check in, um, it goes into a database so at the end of every term we're able to collect that data and analyse it and it tells us the frequency of visits, it also tells us perhaps what they're missing out on in class to come to the hub, um, if there's a routine or a pattern with that. And from there we're able to put in place some interventions within the classroom or within the hub. But I like this room because I... Like it's pretty like quiet, like if you're in here, um, not much people can hear you when you're outside. We've been able to learn about pi, which is a term in mathematics to find out a circumference of a circle and an area of a circle. say in a uni lecture or you know, even in a staff meeting, you actually do have the ability to get up and walk out and think I just need to collect myself for a few minutes and then I'll be right to come back. So um, yeah, allowing kids that same opportunity to take themselves out of a space they're not coping, get themselves together in a safe space and then re-enter the room is something that uh, we've extended that to the children and they use it beautifully. I heard a teacher who probably took 
some time to understand what it was all about, say, what did we do before the hub? Um, so we now have a much more settled school and with that we've got you know, a culture where there's a, a collaboration and there's a team approach around these children. Um, so yeah, I think there's lots of people grateful for the hub. You know, of what we needed, what the children needed, what we thought would work best, and it's developed and changed. It's not the same as when it started. We've certainly made mistakes and learnt from those along the way. So I think for any school who's who's considering something along this line, you need to really educate your school community, and that starts right from the top through your leadership, your staff, down to your parent and, and school community so that I think everyone's on board with what's happening and, and sees the logic and reasoning behind it. So schools who are thinking about a concept such as a hub, you've got to go in with your eyes wide open and really know what it is you're trying to achieve. Um, and, and then I, I would imagine that you've got to look at what works best for you.